Mr. Vice President, Dr. Ali Khobidal Quadras, Madam Minister Michel Aliomarin, Mr. Estrone Stevenson, distinguished members of the European Parliament. Dear friends, it's a great pleasure to be with you once again in this House of Democracy. I have come to the European Parliament to call on European people, parliaments, governments, and other EU institutions to support the struggle of the suppressed people of my country for freedom. We have risen against a brutal regime which is the prime threat to human society, its achievements, and progress. Unfortunately, due to economic interests and in the framework of the policy of appeasement, European governments have sided with the clerical regime in Iran. On the contrary, members of the European Parliament have echoed the uh, conscience of the people of Europe by siding with the Iranian people and the Iranian resistance in their quest for change. Mm -hmm. The resolution adopted on April 3rd by the European Parliament, which underscored the violation of human rights by the Iranian regime is the most recent initiative by the European Parliament. Mullah's anger about this resolution shows its effectiveness and importance. Yesterday, the regime's so-called parliament prepared an urgent resolution against the a recent resolution adopted by the European Parliament. This reaction shows uh, Mullah's lack of capacity for change or moderation. This regime cannot survive without hangings, torture, warmongering, and terrorism in the region. On the contrary, I can inform you that the people of Iran praise this initiative of the European Parliament. Previous initiative pursued the same line. Dear friends, 10 months ago when the new president of the Mullah's regime came to office, the Iranian resistance rejected his claim for moderation. At the same time, you rightly rejected the claims of moderation of Rouhani and by exposing this illusion and by your firm positions, you have not allowed those advocating appeasement to legitimize the brutal regime ruling Iran. In its resolution, the European Parliament emphasizes that the presidential elections were not held according to the democratic standards valued by the EU. Regrettably, Western countries maintain their inaction regarding the growing number of executions and suppression in Iran, as well as the regime's direct role in the bloodbath in Syria and Iraq. But despite the policies of the government, your firm and clear positions vis-à-vis -vis the religious fascism ruling Iran and against grave violation of human rights have always been a deterrent factor against the policy of cooperation of Western countries with the criminal regime ruling Iran. And the people of Iran demand a firm position vis-a-vis -vis the religious fascism ruling Iran. They want leaders of this regime to be brought to justice before international courts for crimes against humanity and not shake hand with them, as you said. During two recent months, Khomeini has actively formed a policy against the agreement. The Mullahs have obtained an ease on the sanctions but instead, they have not stopped their nuclear program. Western countries must insist on uh, shutting down nuclear sites and stopping 
enrichment of uranium. I warn that any concession or appeasement by the West will help the Mullahs to obtain the bomb. On behalf of the Iranian people and their resistance, I warn that the Western governments must not sacrifice human rights and freedom for the sake of negotiations and their relations with their religious fascism ruling Iran. They must follow the European Parliament's April 3rd resolution, which has said, human rights dialogue with Iran should be part of the future policy framework of bilateral EU-Iran relations. The regime is facing growing instability, the gap created in the leadership of the regime as a result of the sham elections last year is widening. Their weakness and inability to deal with the growing crisis forced to agree with the Geneva Agreement, which has already intensified the internal crisis of the clerical regime. Iranian regime's various proxies in Iraq are further divided. The Mullahs fear that this crisis lead to mass uprising against the regime. Therefore, they have intensified suppression and executions in Iran, which you have taken firm position against this violation in the resolution of April 3rd. At the same time, the Mullahs carried out, through its Iraqi puppet government, the Ashraf massacre and the missile attacks on liberty. They have also intensified the restriction on food and medicine in liberty and are paving the way for extradition of the PMOI members. The Mullahs consider PMOI their uh, existential threat and therefore, Camp Liberty is their prime target. Silence and <coughs> inaction of US, EU, and UN has given a free hand to the Mullahs and their proxies in Iraq to continue with their crimes. I call on you to ask EU to use its leverage in order to Free the seven Ashrafi hostages. Immediately relocate PMOI members from Liberty to Europe and US. Provide all protective needs of the residents. Station UN observers and blue helmet in Camp Liberty while the residents are still uh, at Camp Liberty. And refer investigation of the September 1st massacre in Ashraf to the International Criminal Court by UN Security Council. And finally, allow the residents to sell their properties in Ashraf through their legal representatives. These demands were underlined in a number of your resolutions and position, which reflects the demand of freedom lovers in Iran. Dear friends, allow me to once again express my deep appreciation for your courageous defense uh, of Ashrafis and freedom and democracy in Iran. I thank you all very much. Thank you.